A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I want to answer this question because this seems to be a question I get all the time and it bothers me. Why would someone born and raised in America become a Muslim? The answer is simple. Islam is for everybody. It's not contained in a time or a place. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the religion of Islam to all mankind, everyone. When the first prophets spoke and began to call people to God, they were calling them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were calling them to monotheism, to worship the one true God. I am a Muslim, which is the same religion of Abraham, the same religion as Isaac, the same religion as Jesus Christ. I am a Muslim because it is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has called me and called you to be. Islam is for everyone. And if we could just collectively in America wrap our mind around the fact that Islam is one of the Abrahamic faiths, is brought by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brought by God, given to us by Muhammad, the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon him. And when I say given to us by Muhammad, Muhammad communicated what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted for us to do and to be, and that is to be a Muslim. On the day that I die, I'm going to be laying in one of these graves, and the angel is going to come to me, and the angel is going to ask me questions. Who is your God? What is your religion? Who is your prophet? And I want to be able to answer those without going to the hellfire. I don't need my grave to become a place of suffering before hell. I don't need my grave to be one where I am hurting like this right here. He is hurting in there. And I don't want that. I want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to be a good Muslim for myself, my family, my community, and for Allah. And Islam has made me a better person, and it would make all of us better people if we would just submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why I'm a Muslim, because I want to please Allah, the one God. I bear witness there is no God but Allah. And Muhammad is his prophet and messenger. Salamu alaikum. MashaAllah. People think Islam is a religion for Arabs. Well, the fastest growing religion is for everyone. Arabs actually represent only 15% of the 1.8 billion Muslims. The Quran is in Arabic because the Prophet, please be upon him, is Arab. So Allah made the Quran language easy to be memorized. No other book is memorized by millions of people and most don't even speak Arabic. Just like me. Hulilaw mamalik al mulka tutul mulka mantashaw, watanziul mulka mi mantashaw, watu izu mantashaw, watu zilu mantashaw. And I don't even know how to say give me water in Arabic. But I memorized some of the Quran. Allah made it easy. Best part is Allah says in the Quran Surah 15 verse 9 the Quran will be preserved. And how is it preserved? Surah 54 verse 17 we made it easy to be memorized. Just like ABC if you try to change it to A, O, Z, U, a child can correct you because they memorized it. They know it by heart. So let's watch some people who memorize the Quran. MashaAllah.
Allah Azza wa Jal said, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidhun. Right? He said, Indeed, we have sent down this reminder and we shall preserve it. So the fact that so many people around the world, in so many different countries, in so many different continents, speaking different languages, belonging to different ethnicities, but they all recite the Quran, the final revelation, uh, you know, in the original Arabic language and following the same rules. Is something truly remarkable and it's really a miracle that Muslims should be proud of I mean my mother tongue Chinese is so different from Arabic totally different right and it's so so different from <laughs> و 
Alhamdulillah, man, um, I didn't get that job because it turns out those people were like going bankrupt or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. you know. The second thing that you'll hear is inshallah. Which, which means you... like if God wills it to be. Right. self explanatory So, and we always say that after kind of like anything that we want to do. So, hopefully I get into business school, inshallah. inshallah. And then you'll hear nikah. Which is the marriage ceremony. And walima. Which is like the reception. It's like the mm -hmm. party, the after party. Mm -hmm. And finally, when we say Muhammad, we always follow Muhammad with sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which means oh. peace and blessings be on our prophet. That's pretty All much right. it. Finally, the last comment that we're going to 
that you're responding to? Yeah. Basically, someone said they wanted to hear him recite. And it wasn't a comment, it was a message, it was a direct message. They were like, oh, I don't... Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. That's good. You did a good. I love it. Yeah. Ali Rahim, سبح اسم ربك الأعلى. الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إن والكتاب المبين إنا جعلناه قرآنا عربيا لعلكم تعقلون وإنه في الأم كتاب لدينا العلي حكيم أفنذرب عنكم الذكر صفا أن كنتم قوما مسرفين وكم أرسلنا من نبي في الأولين وما يأتيهم من نبي إلا كانوا به يستهزئون صدق الله العظيم وبلغ رسول كريم ونحن على ما قال مولانا ومصطفانا من الشاهدين السلام عليكم إلا تذكرة لمن يخشى تنزيلا ممن خلق الأرض والسماوات الأولى الرحمن على العرش استوى له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وما بينهما وما تحت الثرى وإن تجهر بالقول فإنه يعلم السر وأخفى الله لا إله إلا هو له الأسماء الحسنى وهل أتاك حديث موسى إذ معنا فقال لأهلهم كثوا إني آنست نارا لعلي لعلي آتيكم منها بكبس أو أجد على النار هدى فلما أتاها نودي يا موسى إني أنا ربك فاهلأنا عليك إنك بالوادي المقدس توى وأنا اخترتك فاستمع لما يوها إنني أنا الله لا الصلاة لذكري إن الساعة آتية نكاد أوفيها أكاد أوفيها لتجزى كل نفس بما تسعى إن الساعة آتية نكاد أوفيها لتجزى كل نفس بما تسعى فلا يسد إنك أنها من لا يؤمن بها واتبع هواه فتردى وما تلك بيمينك يا موسى قال هي عصاية أتوكل عليها وأهش بها على غنمي ولي فيها مآرب أخرى
kids to get excited. I want them to come down each day and go, what's today's verse going to be that's going to be sung on this channel? I told you it was crazy. So God created human beings in his own image. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh. And they're going to want to read the Bible every day with their family. I want kids to be able to memorize scripture. When I think back, I was in Awana when I was a kid. And I mean, I memorized hundreds and hundreds of verses. I don't remember most of those. But the verses that I remember, they're the ones that I knew songs to. So tonight I'm going to be singing uh, Psalms 91. Psalms 91 is a powerful, powerful. Up in the name of Jesus, I speak and decree and release healing to that knee right now. Raba, raba, kura, sikiridie. Rum, da, 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 man, da, 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 ba, sikira, da, 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 ba, ndura, ba, da, ba, sikira, ba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Raba, ka, shukara, man, de, la, da, da, man, de, da, ba, 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 sikira, ba, sora. There's a person that has numbness in their hands. I have no idea where that's from, but you have numbness in your hands. Your hands just go numb. You go like this a lot. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you are healed from that. And I pray right now that God would go right to the very root of that thing. And he would begin to touch it in such a mighty way. And I think I'm going to be singing straight out of the Bible. It's what I love to do. I'm going to be singing the spontaneous prophetic song of the Lord. This is a wonderful way that you can... I am the Lord, for I am the Lord, for I am your God and I'll be with you. Yes, I promise I'll be with you. I'm going to see you through. 